Now that all the parts are clean, let's go ahead and reassemble Proto 2000 truck. So, here's what we got. Now, you see this right here. Let's zoom in on it. That is the gear arrangement for the Proto 2000. That's the gear train. You got four gears on the bottom, an idler, and an intermediate right there so before we put the gears in I have taken a little bit of the mag one and I put each socket with a little bit of mag one well, I got one here that's what we got there we go let's check this one mm -hmm. there now so what we're gonna do we're going to put these in here. We'll, we'll grease them after we put them in. we got to get their sockets greased first. So they fit into sockets. I actually kind of like this gear train. And then the little one goes above these back two. Just like that. And then the idler that connects to the worm goes up here. Okay. This is what the gear train is supposed to look like. Four on the bottom, a little one in the back, idler on top. Just like that. We take the other half, put that on here, and we can work these guys into place. Okay, good. Good, you're all in there. All right. Just set him like that. Now, now, these are the power pickups right here. And I like this system, the power pickup, but I polished them. We need to coat them with OxGuard. Let's take some OxGuard. We're not going to solder them yet. We're going to do that later. Get all the sockets. And I'm going to coat the whole thing so it, the whole thing doesn't just tarnish. But I want to get these sockets. I want to get both sides. Around it, okay. Yeah, there's a damn that doggone silicone lube that they put in this thing, which was a real problem. Even though I have a carburetor sized ultrasonic, that lube that I showed you that was all crusty and crappy. Managed to cloud completely clear solution in the ultrasonic. There was that much of it on there. And looking at the instructions for this thing, they recommend these frequent lubrication applications, which I think are way out of line. Okay, now I'm taking a little bit of Mag 1. I'm going to get it onto the wheel. Remember, I don't go all the way around. Don't need to. Get it into like a quarter round. We don't need that much of this. This is the good stuff. And when this is done right, as we have shown in the past, we know this stuff is good for 30 years. And more but for sure for 30 because that's that's where we tested from uh, my old locomotives that went into storage for 30 years all right let me just lay these in here okay now they don't snap in or nothing they just float in here so let's go ahead and just rotate them around just 
just a bit, and then we'll just add a tiny bit of Mag 1 in between these guys. And in between... Right there. That should be more than plenty of lube in this. And that's maybe just a little bit on the high side. Let's just rotate it around just a second here. Okay, very nice. Now we can go ahead and throw on the bottom. So we line up the bottom. Snapper in place. There we go. Let's go ahead and put this guy on. Oops. I know it was off the track. I got it. That's our port spin right there. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here now. Let me just roll them a little bit. All the wheels have been coated with OxGuard on the on the tire side and on the ends. And I painted them with a little bit of Citadel Sterland mud. Perfectly lubed. So you can see my my uh, brown color, that's the Sterland mud. It has a tiny bit of texture to it, but I polished the ends and I oxidized that. Okay, so now we got to put on the brake gear on these. So we look at the brake gear, make sure that the details are facing out, and we put the brake gear on. Yep, brake gear goes on before the power pickup. I'll tell you what, these trucks, I like them, they're pretty nice. I mean, considering how old, old this is, they're, they're nice. All right, we all on? Yep. Okay, brake gear's on. Now, we can go ahead and put on, now the question is, did I do this right? Hope so. Just going on like that. With the uh, dimple side out. If that's not right, I'll just reverse it. But I'm, I'm guessing that that is the right way. And I'm guessing that's the right way because of the wear marks on them. All right. Now they're not just going to stay on here until I put the side fins on, but otherwise we have two very nicely assembled trucks, and we'll get the side frames on here. Here's our side frames. We're going to we're going to go ahead and graphite these, and then put them on, and then we need to prepare the frame for milling. This frame does not have cutouts that I like for bringing up wires and we're going to make sure that it uh, will complete the 15 inch radius and so I, there's not really enough room here for it to do that I'll just cut a little bit out but more importantly we need to make sure that our wires can come up cleanly and I did not like the wire arrangement when I took this apart it wasn't as clean as it could be we're going to fix that 